KGMI Morning News Extra. Well, when we learned of the death of bin Laden, we often felt, uh, many of us rather, felt uh, a positive feeling at least, but we saw some uh, cheering like it was uh, maybe a homecoming win, uh, that sort of thing. And uh, joining us now is Arthur Lieber. He's an educator, director of, director of Civitas, a nonprofit organization, an educational organization. He says this is a teaching moment uh, for our nation's kids. And uh, first of all, welcome to the program, Arthur. Joe, thank you very much for having me. And uh, you and uh, I think uh, many Americans were, well, a little disturbed to see people, for instance, outside the White House uh, the night we learned the news, uh, cheering wildly and uh, and acting as though this were a sporting event. You know, I, I think you couldn't sum it up better. Um, you know, the whole homecoming mentality. And I, I really think that... Uh, in a lot of schools, uh, homecoming, you know, and just uh, presumably spontaneous cheering is is considered more important than critical thinking. Now, what happened with Bin Laden was something that obviously was was seminal in our lifetimes, and those are times when we really want to engage in critical thinking. Um, I think our schools, in a lot of uh, cases, just you know, want kids to. Uh, uh, just blow off energy, whatever. And um, the critical thinking skills are kind of given a backseat to it. So I, I was uh, very uncomfortable with what happened Sunday night. Uh, I don't know, obviously, what happened uh, in the compound, but I do know that uh, people like Wolf Blitzer and others were, I think, really trying to egg on uh, an activity which uh, at best was, I think, uh, somewhat silly and at worst could be provocative to uh, supporters of bin Laden. Well, how could teachers, or for that matter, parents, counteract some of that? Well, I, I think the uh, one of the problems uh, was that a lot of the people demonstrating really didn't n- even know who Osama bin Laden was, or he was just the boogeyman. And uh, we have a problem which I think has existed for years in the country, which is that so many students don't know recent history. Uh, and we are so curriculum-driven that uh, I, I think there are uh, probably hundreds, maybe thousands of teachers in the country who, um, you know, are just, they're on like page three, 35 of the book they're supposed to be on. They're maybe getting to World War One now, and they'll never get to anything close to 9-11. Um, and so if people don't have knowledge about what happened, then it's very difficult for them to respond in a rational way. Um, uh, one idea we've tossed out is teaching history backwards, starting with today and going back and seeing what's relevant to today. Uh, but all the same, I think teachers and parents uh, alike have to, uh, if they can, uh, uh, spend quality time with students and talking uh, about the significance of this and how it came to be. All right, uh, a complicated issue and uh, one we don't have a lot of time to examine, but um, about your organization, is there some place uh, folks can learn more about it? They can. Uh, they can go to www.activecitizen360.org. All right, Arthur, Arthur Lieber, uh, the director of Civitas. Thanks for joining us today. Joe, thanks for the opportunity.